Valley has done a PhD uh, from Malaysian University, very prestigious university in Malaysia. And uh, he has done a lot of work uh, on the environmental aspects of indoor air pollution and uh, related to the landscaping of buildings and nearby areas. So uh, I welcome uh, Dr. Asif Ali uh, to deliver a lecture in this uh, subject refresher course on environmental studies. I welcome you, Dr. Asif, and request you to please deliver your address. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let me uh, just uh, share my presentation. Thank you very much, Dr. Rashad. Am I audible to all of you? Please, can you confuse? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, just, just let me check my presentation here. Is, uh... is my presentation is visible to all of you? Can you please confirm me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, very good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Asif Ali, Associate Professor in the Architecture Section, University Polytechnic of Aligarh Muslim University. And uh, I did my PhD from uh, University Science Malaysia. I have been to different places and uh, my research area is indoor air quality and especially the sustainability aspect of environment. So, I start with the uh, with a story. Uh, uh, once a uh, few years back, I was uh, just uh, uh, conversing, uh, talking to my friend in Delhi. So I just went to see him because he was not feeling well for many months. So I asked him, "What's the problem?" He says, uh, "He said that uh, uh, I'm not feeling well when I am at work." I'm in the office and uh, I feel uh, like nausea, I feel headache, and my performance has become very low. And my boss is not happy with me. So just uh, that by that time I started, uh, I had already started uh, the research on indoor environmental quality and its aspects like ventilation and uh, the thermal uh, comfort. So I asked him, can you show me your office? He said, yes. So he brought me to his office yes, and we went together there. Yes, so I saw that uh, his office uh, was not having a proper ventilation. And his, uh, 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 the, the, the office was really very much congested. And even there was a problem of acoustics, a sound problem. There was a, always a noise. So I said to him that, you know, the problem is not the physical. I mean, not an, it's medical problem, but it's actually the symptoms which you are feeling is has come from the building. And it is basically the sick building syndrome. The building has made you sick. He said he wondered how it can be. So I told him that if you don't have a proper indoor environmental quality inside the building, so uh, sometimes these symptoms uh, occurs. And even the reports, you know, the doctors, the, 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 they go for pathological tests and all these things. And though no, there is no recognizable uh, element or kind of uh, uh, symptom which can uh, uh, recognize this uh, disease, these diseases. So then I realized that this is really a great problem that the indoor environmental quality, because by that time the people were talking about the outdoor environment too much, the outdoor air pollution, the outdoor uh, environment. 
and no doubt that the the energy resources are depleting day by day and there is a an issue of sustainability in the world and that is a global issue and that is a buzz uh, uh, i mean uh, of the time you know so then i realized that it is necessary to work on it that how we can make our indoor environment better for a better health for comfort and for uh, for the well being also so from that time i started working on this these projects those work basically uh, those were the uh, case studies for this and then found that there were a great problem in the buildings and uh, there was a kind of you know a, most of the buildings even the hospitals you find that the indoor environment quality was low and the person the, i mean the, the the patient who is coming to the uh, to the uh, hospital for cure he is also bringing some diseases from there to home and even he is not comfortable in the hospital so it is a major issue not only because we need a comfort living but health and as well as the sustainability because it is a great issue uh, and a major issue nowadays globally so today's talk is about this indoor environment quality so what i am going to present here i will talk about uh, indoor environment qu environmental quality in general then we will discuss its uh, key components then uh, we will discuss uh, its impact on our well-being and the health most importantly and what are the strategies very general strategies maybe a common person can understand not necessarily you should be an architect or an engineer many things we can do our, our at our own and we can make uh, our building live and healthy too and how can we measure them how can we monitor the indoor environmental quality and what challenge challenges we have today and in the future and how indoor environmental quality is related to the sustainability so this is these all uh, uh, matters we are or the, the 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 points we are going to discuss in the light of indoor environment quality so as we know most of us will live more indoor uh, 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 am i right huh just 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 to check that you're listening to me we live more indoors or outdoors indoor sir yes indoor 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 sir indoor sir indoor sir good, good. because indoor sir indoor sir because when most of the time we are at home or we have gone for shopping or we are inside the office or the children are at the school or they are in the the others the workers are in the industrial buildings so they we most of the time we are indoors and it's almost 90 percent time we spend inside the building and in urban settlement indoor life becomes more important nowadays because and after corona and covid 19 you might have seen the people prefer to live inside the building rather than the outdoors so the environment of a building has become more important now if the indoor environment quality is not good obviously it is going to affect our well-being it is going to affect our comfort it is going to affect our health or in other words we can say if we improve our indoor environment quality means we improve our quality of life am i right yes sir yeah yes sir yes sir yeah you will respond it to so yes, i will be motivated yes, that I, oh, yes sir yes sir yes sir yes, i'm sharing yes, my sir. message thank you very much thank you thank you so 
what what ieq is what is indoor environment quality is the indoor environment quality is, is an environmental quality inside a building and majorly there are four things you know the four factors it's air quality inside the building the lighting the quality of the light the thermal comfort the comfort against the temperature around us and the acoustics means the sounds because we are very much affected about uh, with the sounds also you know when we are uh, our houses they are next to the highways or to the roads which are full of transport so every time we use uh, we, we listen the buzz of a bus or sometimes the horn and everything so that is i mean maybe comfortable for some people but unconsciously it is making us irritating and sometimes it is affecting our it is affecting our you know the 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 airs i mean the 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 listening system the sense the listening sense so these are the four factors on which we will today discuss how they affect our health so the quality of building in relation to the to health and well-being of its occupant is called indoor environment quality now there are two terms you know the buildings may be sick can you believe yes there is one syndrome which is called sick building syndrome sbs and in the buildings where there is a sick building syndrome the users or the occupants they experience acute health effects and sometimes these are really acute means they feel fatigue there may be a drowsiness there may be a uh, maybe a stress and even the person the inhabitant or the occupant they cannot recognize why i am feeling this why i am feeling all these kind of why i am feeling uh, dizziness the reason is that this building has a sick building syndrome so what is the sick building syndrome the sick building syndrome is a condition where occupants experience discomfort or health issues that seem to be linked to time spent in a specific building but no specific illness or cause can be identified and the important thing is that when you go to the doctor he says you are almost fit you're normal your reports are okay but when once again you go to this kind of building or stay whether it is your house or it is a school for children or it is a commercial complex or the shops or it is an industry so they feel that they have some problem but the, those are unrecognizable they cannot be recognized and the sick building in the in the case of sick building syndrome the time you spend inside the building or remain there you feel that there those symptoms like headache or like fatigue sometimes you feel respiratory issues sometimes the, there is an skin irritation there sometimes it is eye strain the strains on the eyes so some of you have you feel this kind of syndrome or this kind of uh, 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 problem may I ask you sometimes, sometimes sir. No. because you most of you in work uh, in schools or you are the teachers or you are the professors so obviously your cabin sometimes doesn't have proper ventilation it doesn't have a uh, uh, proper uh, lighting system or sometime it doesn't have proper uh, air quality but you don't recognize it you just sit 
sir most why of, most of the time it happens in winter and not in summer actually but i i i felt uh, in winter yes, sir great great okay 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 but but actually we are from different parts of india that's why you know in some region where the the, the, the cold regions there are some hot regions there are some you know uh, composite regions so obviously they are climate sometimes extreme so our buildings should be cope up to those climates this is very much necessary so that the occupant can feel comfort and this is the duty of obviously the the owner or the the designers the architects and the government so that we should provide comfortable inside the building for this alma maters or the professors those are the intellectuals huh? so if they don't feel uh, better inside the building their performance is going to uh, going to affect really okay thank you much for your response so sick building syndrome is one thing next thing i mean one more thing is uh, which is important or a kind of uh, uh, problem in the buildings that is called building related illness so it also cause, uh, causes uh, health problems, illness, and due to the, obviously the contaminants present or the temperature inside the building, the thermal condition inside the building. So it's, what is a BRI or the building related illness is, it's a condition where a specific diagnosable illness are directly attributed to building environment. So the difference between the SBS, the sick building syndrome, and the building related illness is that you cannot recognize SBS. Even the doctor cannot recognize. But the building related illness, you can recognize it that what is what what is the reason of it and this disease remain or the kind of problem remain when you are outside the building why when you are out at the, at your home for example at workplace there is a problem of air pollution inside the building or inside the room where you sit for long hours so it may cause asthma and when you go the asthma condition remains same at your home or the condition at your home is not good of air then it may cause problems so this the the you know in this case the cause you know the the, the cause can be recognized and the this will remain the problem occurs when you are outside the building too so these are the two issues the major issues in case of uh, uh, the the building not well designed for the comfort of the users the other problems may be the lungs problems and that is just because of most of the time because of air quality so there may be the respiratory problems and there may be the allergies there may be the pathogens there there may be the germs may be there the bacteria may be there the viruses may be there in the air and you inhale them okay and you, you you inhale them and there may be a problem or the health problem related to the lungs and another problem just because of the visual quality may be eye strain the quality of the light in your room is not good and you have to work there the reading or the computer working on the computer or writing so for that particular task a, a, a particular amount of light is required so there may be eye strain there may be problems of eyes to the users and these are the physical problems there may be mental problems too there may be the mental health may be affected just because of indoor environmental quality the productivity the performance the stresses may be there there may be stresses you know uh, and you can see when when there is there, just the madam has already told me that there's too cold inside her room so you remember when there is too cold 
you cannot work properly your efficiency decreases and your even the mental health is not good you feel stressed you feel stressed when your thermal condition of your surrounding is not good fine uh, uh, am i audible till now and uh, is this clear yes sir because actually we are teachers and we have, we 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 suffer with this problem day by uh, on the da daily basis uh, because we have to spend uh, more time in our uh, departments in our rooms in our classrooms so uh, uh, when we stay there so we know the condition of uh, these uh, these rooms because uh, uh, this this problem is uh, i mean everywhere everywhere this problem is uh, you, you 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 can recognize it very easily so there's always stresses when there the surrounding condition the environmental condition is not good and you don't feel comfortable and your efficiency you lose your efficiency you lose your productivity and you lose your performance so sometimes the performance not just because of our laziness or the other things but the performance may decrease due to our environment so we must recognize even the employer he they must uh, they must uh, do the survey what is the living condition of uh, the employees and how the productivity and the performance can be improved so they should survey that how they feel when there's a winter how they feel when there's summer how they feel then there is a noise next to his or her room and how they feel then they record what is the air quality inside the room so now the solution will be unique for the unique climate as i told you there are many climatic regions in india some regions are very cold some regions are deserts like very hot where the temperature is dominated and some some where there we have different seasons like a composite climate we have rainy season we have uh, winters the extreme winter we have extreme summer too and somewhere the the the, the temperature is moderate throughout the air remains same so we must uh, uh, i mean study that climate and uh, we need a unique solution uh, solution to mitigate the impact of the poor indoor environment quality so in a way it becomes very important in terms not only in terms of uh, in terms of uh, performance comfort but our day day to day life you know we feel irritated we feel irritated by this too too much humidity around you when the humidity and the temperature is high sometimes we shout on our children sometimes we we we, we quarrel with our staff with with the, the colleague the, but the reason we don't know because sometimes the mental stresses are just because of the the indoor environment condition and those should be mitigated and should be addressed on a priority basis not only in the where you're working or the working places or the residences where you're living too and with a minor modification if you can do you can make it that uh, am i clear to you so far yes sir yes sir yes sir so my, uh, yes, sir. i'm just asking a question to uh, all of you have you uh, prob uh, i mean faced some uh, stresses due to the environmental condition around you i mean indoor environment like your house or your working place sometimes yes sir yes sir that extreme hot no sir during extreme hot. no sir yes, sir uh, during extreme hot when the humidity is high then you become irritated you 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 feel the mental stress too yes sir no 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 try to understand what is the position of the students you know if the indoor environmental condition of a class is not good okay can you can you can you uh, i mean imagine that how a person or a student can concentrate when the temperature of the room is too high the humidity is too high and the environmental condition is not good sometimes the students may get sick 
sometimes the students uh, may can, they can the, they it reduces their learning efficiency so they they don't cannot concentrate on the teachers and what the teach on the teacher lectures so there is a problem of sir, sorry to interrupt you sir sorry to interrupt yeah, you please, actually please, i please. Uh, I, I wanna tell something actually, sir. Yeah, you are right that uh, a claustrophobic atmosphere always actually is not healthy for learning. But still, in, 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 in my case or in our college, actually, we used to face so many problems, the, the, the external noise. And that's why we have to actually manage classes by closing the doors and windows. So th th that, is, uh, that is very, uh, very much ironical one for us actually, sir. Yes, and sometimes this is necessary to open the windows because of the ventilation. But but if you open the window, the noise will come into the into the building, and there will be kind of the chaos, and there's there's a problem. So so obviously there are solutions, but we have to think about it. That that how can we cope up the noise outside the building, noise inside the building, or with the control of the noise, how can we go for the proper ventilation and proper thermal condition too. So obviously I can understand your problem when you close the windows and doors, sorry, windows and doors, then what happens that the, the, the temperature obviously changes, the thermal condition of the class room changes. So obviously it is a problem. So you, you, you we must recognize it. And sometimes we can may write to our, uh, employer that these kind of problems are there and they can go for the professionals and sometimes you know these can be mitigated on a very low basis not necessary to spend a lot of money like, like for example in your case if uh, uh, what architect i can give an architectural solution here uh, uh, in some cases what we do when there is a classroom next to the uh, the busy road where there is always a noise just because of the transportation. So what we do, and, and if it misses, first we avoid it to provide it next to the busy door. But uh, but if it is, it becomes necessary, sometimes the site is very uh, small and uh, it, it becomes necessary. So what we do actually, one of the solution I'm just providing you, uh, uh, kind of a ready corner, not exact solution but what we do we make a wall of the trees wall of the dense trees so what the dense trees do they absorb the noise between the classroom window and the so the the road so this kind of wall can uh, wall of the trees can absorb the noise and reduce the uh, condition uh, of the uh, noise uh, which is uh, reaching to your the class uh, am i clear to you please can you respond yes sir you are clear and your suggestions yes, are really really valuable but sir the problem is problem lies with the most of the times are very very sorry to say with the students because most of the time students may clamor out uh, outside the class and uh, sometimes they do not pay heed Pay attention. Ah, so okay. that, that's but that is a behavioral <laughs> problem. So just we are talking about here yeah, the environmental problem. But that can, mm -hmm. I mean, there can be the two types of noise. One from the outside, uh, from the building. We will discuss it later. And one may be inside. Sometimes you might have feel that the 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 teacher is uh, teaching next uh, in the next class. Uh, I mean the 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 adjacent class. And you feel that uh, the noise is also always already there. The person is moving in the corridor. The children are moving in the corridor, and because of the noise of their foot and their their their, their uh, shoes, so you 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 feel problem. So they, that should be also addressed. I think so. Okay. Now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. So. so uh, as uh, I told you, the IQEQ, the indoor environment quality, sometimes or most of the time, is a problem, and it is it affects the health and it affects the well-being and it, it affects the productivity and uh, the performance of the students, of the teachers, and the workers. And 
it is very much important too that this indoor environmental quality should get improved really but at the cost of what not at the cost of sustainability this is the issue of the today's issue because you know there are schools or the places or the buildings which are obviously have poor indoor environment quality but there are the regions in the world where the indoor environment quality is very good but what at what cost at the cost of sustainability for example they provide air conditioning and they provide the other means by which they are using the uh, mechanical equipments they are using the electricity so in a way they are using the natural resources too so when we use i mean we improve the indoor environmental quality at the cost of sustainability uh, i think you are clear so by 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 this time you must be clear about the sustainability because uh, this is the course of environment so you might know what sustainability is yes sir yes sir yeah. Yeah, because the, the natural resources are depleting day by day and they are limited. If we will use them abundantly, then one day what will happen? These resources will uh, will not be available to our, the, to our next generation. So there will be a problem. So indoor environment quality is, environmental quality is important. And luxury is also important, but not at the cost of sustainability. So there should be a balance between indoor environmental quality and the sustainability. This we will also discuss later. So now, I think so far is clear to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, very much. Yes, very sir. much. We, 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 we want to make it a, yes, a kind of interactive. Uh, so if you so far, if you have yes, any yes, question sir. or anything, you can ask me and any, even you can stop me. Uh, uh, and in, you can interrupt me and you can ask question if you want to clarify something. So, so far, if you want to ask any question. Uh, sir, can... Uh, sir, can I ask? <laughs> yeah, please. Sir, actually, uh, you are uh, talking about the indoor quality, in, uh, indoor air quality index. So, 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 sir, most of the time in summer, actually, we use, uh, 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 we use actually AC and uh, um, most of the time we uh, closed the door and windows uh, windows to uh, feel the to feel the very uh, cool of that ac so m suppose in 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 for, for for example in my college there is only one room and it is an uh, it is uh, 12 feet by 11 feet and what most of the that? time we the colleagues actually seven eight nine ten colleagues uh, at the same time actually enter into that room and that room remains locked so uh, is it is it not very harmful for our uh, health uh, no. because uh, we are emitting carbon dioxide and uh, as the ac is also going on so 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 will will th this this not be a problem or, or is is this not a problem sir yes yes you are right actually we we, we will talk it later but i can i can just give you a brief Actually, one thing is ventilation and one thing is air exchange. These are two things. They are uh, almost similar, but there is some difference. The ventilation means you get out the uh, the fall gases from the room or the form inside of the building and you allow the fresh air into the building. And this exchange is called air exchange. So this air exchange is very much necessary to purify the air. Either it is a it is a air conditioned room or it is without air condition. So like what my suggestion for that room is that when you are using it, it is okay. You can you have to seal it. You have to so that the the you cannot have a temperature. You can you should not lose the temperature, but when you are not using it, by the time you can open the windows or the doors 
so that there can be a, a ventilation and the air exchange so that the air the fresh air can enter into the building and the fall gases can go out so my suggestion is for that even all the air condition spaces that the all the air condition spaces should not get closed all the time they must give uh, they must given a time where there should be an air exchange and where should be a ventilation means the even the air conditioned spaces should be ventilated naturally too why because most of the air condition they don't use the fresh air what they do for the cause of the uh, to save the electricity most of the systems are like that the internal air goes back to the air condition and it's lower down the temperature and then they recycle it so what is happening the same air which has already been polluted is coming though it is coming through the filter but how much the filter is working that that cannot be as equal as good as to the fresh air which is outside the what the the plants are doing what what the what the outside the 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 the, ray, the sun rays are doing so my suggestion is that uh, we should be dependent we can use the air condition but with the with the with the with the condition that there should be an air exchange there should be a ventilation too uh, am i clear to you ma'am and later we can discuss in detail yeah yeah thank you thank you very much sir it's very informative and nice sir thank you please carry on sir looking forward to your lecture okay so, sir, may I ask a question? Yeah, please. Myself, myself, Dr. Raju Kishwa. Sir, uh, I live in Aligarh. Uh, sir, uh, lots of issue in the houses and classrooms. There are a, a moisture smell uh, in, in internal rooms or classrooms. Uh, is that is that uh, harmful for health and lungs? We will we will discuss this later, because you know the humidity and the moisture air basically is. A house for the pathogens and for the viruses and bacteria. The humidity in the air means it it is very much favorable for the uh, for the bacteria, for the viruses, for the pathogens, and th that should not be there because this also we ha I have a later in of my presentation. So moisture should be removed out. But as you told me that you are from Aligarh, so because in Aligarh there is always a problem of, in houses, the seepage problem. So most of the time, the, the, the during rainy season, so the the, the water basically uh, the moisture, the the, the the walls and the ceilings, uh, they are moisturized most of the time. That I mean, there there is moisture always present. So due to this uh, seepage, uh, the air contains. Uh, uh, the have uh, humidity or the or the moisture and this is not good that should be removed out and the best way to remove it to have a cross ventilation cross ventilation means the air is for the fresh air is entering from one side and the fall gases are getting out from the other so this is the next so this is basically, basically sir, we are in, in government or added college so so the classroom and uh, the atmosphere we, we all know that <laughs> yeah but but what my what what i can uh, suggest actually for government colleges because we cannot use the mechanical equipments too much to dehumidify that or for the air conditioning but I'm suggesting, I mean, I'm, I will suggest those who work for the, the architects or the designers, those who work for the government, they must design their building in such a way that most of the time they will, they should be based on the natural ventilation. It is good for that. Excuse me, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. Uh, how AC room is uh, is uh, able to ventilate because the AC room is already closed, na, sir. So how can we uh, get the pure air? What what, what I what I what I told, ma'am, 
that she 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 told us that when we we stay there so there will be fall gases the cot will be there the so the and the ac recycle it always the air will be polluted even you might have seen in corona period also because yeah. the air condition desert work when already when the air is contaminated so what will happen the contamination will recycle through the ac am i clear to you now now uh, your question is that how it can be ventilated so air condition room should get ventilated when the ac is not used i suggested to ma'am that when you are not using the air conditioning by that time you can open the windows you can open the door so that the air exchange should be there the fall gases can go out and and the 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 fresh air can come into the building but the whole night is closed no sir ha ah, okay whole night is closed yeah, i'm uh, yes i said because because you cannot you cannot go for uh, you cannot okay. avoid that obviously yeah. uh, for example now today what is in aligarh obviously you have to go for the uh, but in the morning when you are not in the room just open your room for for a while for one hour or two hour three hour and the windows so that there will the whatever the fall gases has been contaminated uh, uh, the whole night the the it, the it the it can be refreshed the oxygen deficiency is also taking place there i will will be obviously obviously it will be there it will be there so uh, the you, you because uh, because of uh, so that the the air condition load should not increase you you seal pack everything no? you seal pack everything you have the doors and windows and everything so obviously the energy the oxygen will go down so uh, if you have used it for 10 hours or 8 hours or 12 hours after 10 hours or 12 hours you can open the doors and windows so then the oxygen level can be increased Thank and you, there other ways also uh, so you can use the liquid uh, oxygen but but for 10 to 12 hour there is no problem okay thank okay. you sir okay. can i proceed any other question or can i proceed with this the my presentation because i have a lot of slides okay to... sir please proceed and we will ask in the end okay 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 so uh, as i told you there are four uh, co components of indoor air quality the thermal comfort means uh, the the spaces and the building should be comfort in terms of temperature in terms of humidity and in terms of air movement and that can be achieved by both ways both ways means uh, by passive means or the active means uh, active means here by depending over the mechanical system electrical system like fan or air conditioning system and passive means naturally why i am talking about passive means here because you might have seen in indian culture because uh, in the ancient period you know there was no air condition there was no electricity but the buildings were comfortable so you all might have gone to the historical places even you might have seen that even the outside temperature is too high but when you enter to a uh, the historical temple when you enter to a palace when you enter to a haveli it is comfortable inside am i right or not have you really uh, feel this yes sir yes sir Yes, I need others responses too. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Obviously, obviously, yes, there sir. is a difference between the yes, internal yes, and the external temperature. Yes, It means yes, we were uh, making indoor yes, better from yes, the sir. ancient period too. Even during the June, when the outside temperature is very high, you enter to a haveli, you enter to a Palace, or you enter to a temple, the old temple, so you find climate, climate change. Ah, uh, because of. Sorry, can you repeat? Because of the architectural structure. Exactly, exactly, exactly. 
the, that's why I want to clarify you the passive means. They use passive means without using any electricity, without using air conditioning. They are building were already air conditioned. You might have seen one one small yeah. element on a single element, the jali. You know, you might have Sorry, seen jali. Hava mahal, sir, yes. Hava hava mahal. Mahal. yes. So what the hava mail was doing? The hava mail was improving the indoor environment quality. It was improving the indoor air quality, the comfort inside the building. Why? Because it is located in Rajasthan, which is a part of the desert, desert where heat is dominated. So it was necessary that the people should remain there for a place where which must be which must be comfortable at least during summers at evening or in the morning so there are several examples now these are the these were the palaces um, now i come to another example very tiny example you know the hut the mud house so have you been to a mud house in the village when you go into mud house and the, the, there is a scorching heat outside so don't you feel comfortable yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. about the indoor environmental quality from the ancient time even our villages too and we were not dependent on the electricity or air conditioning Am I right? Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. Because the active means yes, of cooling or heating buildings were not used, but the passive means were used. And the same you can see when there's a cold regions, the house are constructed with the timber, and the timber basically keep the heat inside. It doesn't let the heat go outside so the internal heat is conserved and the houses of timber they are comfortable even even when the, there is a snowfall outside sir sorry to interrupt been... sir sir yes, sorry to please. interrupt this is Nilor yes. Mundal again sir uh, actually i wanna uh, wanna uh, get a clarification that uh, in in Chakatikam or the clay cut by sudroka it's a it's a classical drama actually uh, there, okay. uh, there is the uh, there, there is a description of a palace of the heroine that is Boshon Toshena, and in that palace okay. they used to they used to use uh, actually a kind of water jars, okay, for the ventilation. What okay. water jars for, for for the air to 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 come in inside the room? So is okay. it actually a passive or active kind of uh, thing? That that's the question. Actually, as you are talking about the uh, ancient Indian culture and and the architecture, that that's what, so so the question arises to my mind, sir. Sir, please, okay. would you would you okay. please? So many, so many. Uh, I mean, ways okay. to cope up the climate. They have already invented in ancient India or in ancient civilizations. So many. Not only, but this may be one according to your climate in your region. But there are so many, you know, uh, examples. So no, no, sir, actually, actually, sir, uh, this is this is this is not in my area. Actually, the drama is set in Ujjaini, which is now in UP, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So what I mean to say, definitely, it is a passive means because we are not using any electricity or any mechanical equipment any burden over the nature you know what is happening the problem where is the problem where is the problem with the environment the problem with the environment whether it is outdoor environment or indoor environment the problem is that we have come face to face to the nature in the past we were harmonious with the nature this is the reason am i i mean do you agree with this Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, yes, sir. Yes, In the past, either it was architecture, it was construction, it was whatever type of engineering is this, even the lifestyle. 
it was very much harmonious to the nature now i will give you another example now because a lot of slides there are only 10 slides so far we have covered but we we have uh, more than 60 slides so but no no problem the 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 issue must be clear to you now i will give you another example because you you can feel it uh, have you uh, seen havelis or the old houses uh, almost throughout the india that they have the courtyards yes all the yes, sir. houses they have courtyard yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. And always attached to a veranda. Is yes. it or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Veranda yes, sir. attached to the room. It is very yes, unusual, sir. sir. Actually, so this sequence is nothing but a solution to the indoor environment quality, if I say. And I can explain it very well. Let me allow to explain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what the courtyard is doing, what the veranda is and what a room is actually, because, you know, it is to cope up the kind of climate of all types. Like the courtyard always in the evening and the morning has a shaded area. So the summer morning and summer evening can be enjoyed in courtyard the place where you get the shade or the shadow because of the sun's inclination fine the second thing you might have seen or might be you might not you might be quite young uh, that in the previous uh, or or in in the villages is still the people sleep in the summer in the kotia yes sir they sleep there yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. But what if there is a rain? So what they do, they just bring their cord to the veranda. So what yes. are they doing? Veranda is just protecting them from the rain, but allowing the airflow. Am I right or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this is the yes, need of the hour. And this is a need of the hour. Because yes. if I directly go from the courtyard to the room, Obviously, the rain will be protected, protected, but the heat will be too much. I mean, the temperature of the room will be too high. Am I right? Right. Yes, sir. So, so in, between, right. in between, there should be a place where it can protect me from the rain, but can allow the air. And the veranda is the solution for that. And obviously, when there will be a low temperature during the winter, I cannot stay or sleep neither in the courtyard nor in the veranda so the best place is the room that's why this sequence you find almost in the traditional building throughout the uh, india throughout india this is one way to see i mean the other way is the whole family is gathered in the courtyard because there was joint family system i, I mean I, this is another aspect the social aspect. Am I clear to you, please? Can you? Can you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you? So the whole family is gathered there. Yes, so the, the uncle is side. The 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 other the brother is living that side. The parents are living on the other side. So it was socially, environmentally, architecturally. It was a correct system, which actually we just shattered it and we went for a apartment or for a flat i'm not against that that is a time a need of the hour but we shattered everything you know we have come i mean face to face to the nature okay you you may not be agree because some most of the people you may be living in the urban area and the type of building like apartment is necessary anyway but even you are living in apartment the air quality, indoor environment quality, and there should the spaces should be comforted. Otherwise, there will be a problem with the health. There will be a problem with the with with the comfort comfort with the problem with the, with the with the productivity or of your performance. So there are four factors. 
now we come back to the uh, to the presentation there are four factors one is uh, is uh, temp thermal comfort another is air quality obviously the air quality need ventilation and uh, there are carbon dioxide particulates and dust and everything which is related to the air quality obviously lighting is important and lighting of two types one is the natural light and artificial lighting so many houses even today in an urban area even the natural light doesn't reach to to the internal spaces which is very much important so it is it should always be combined uh, the natural light and the artificial light because it affects your mood your productivity your health and it tells you that now it's night and now it's this okay so that is that is the body clock which is recognized on the basis of the natural light and acoustics too that is also important factor so we must know the sound insulation system the absorption system and what is the noise level in our house or in our workplace is there as as the ma'am told us that the the, her, the classrooms are next to the playground so there's a noise always so you can you have to close the doors and the windows so while designing you must keep all these things uh, i mean the designer as well as the 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 common person should know it and this is very important at workplaces so one by one we will discuss the thermal comfort obviously it is a state of mind when the person feels satisfied with the thermal environment he feels that the temperature is so so now the humidity is okay now i feel comfortable so uh, obviously uh, there are methods by which you can monitor it and by which you can uh, measure it but it depends on several factors that's why we asked the people by the by a survey whether you feel comfortable you feel satisfied with your thermal environment or not so on the basis of that we decide that this temperature this range of the temperature this range of the humidity is okay for the human being and that varies a place to place and that varies uh, area to area because of their metabolic rate because of their climate and all these things so it are going to affect obviously our health how how it is going to affect our health we will talk in the later slides so there are some environmental factors basically which affect the thermal comfort air temperature the radiant temperature is also important you know what happens during summers the walls and the components of the buildings they absorb the heat and when they absorb the heat they re-radiate it when they re-radiate it the problems becomes double sometime you might feel that the outside temperature is less and the inside temperature is too high can you believe did you yes sir some? yes sir exactly yes, yes sir, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. very good and this is because of the heat is radiated by the surrounding surfaces the wall is radiating he the there's the the uh, the ceiling or the the roof is basically uh, transmitting heat to the room so the window panels they are also the glass is also transmitting to it uh, to the to the to the uh, inside so sometimes it becomes very much important the radiant temperature so we must be careful about the material we are using and the orientation of the building we will discuss in detail later about it and obviously here yeah, movement is very much important why it is important because it is through evaporation it gives us comfort comfort okay humidity moisture level in the air affects evaporative cooling this is one of the important factor means if the air will be more moist the humid the 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 sweat will not dry uh, am i am i clear to you yes sir yes when the humidity is high obviously the the you you will not feel better because the evaporative cooling will be less 
there are personal factors too how many clothes you have wear that maybe uh, it depends on that also your metabolic rate that varies person to person and age wise the youngers have a different metabolic rate the oldies they have different metabolic rate so sometimes the oldies may get shivering or even at the higher temperature the youngers they may get uh, the no uh, uh, effect of uh, uh, climate uh, so it depends on age it depends upon the area so metabolic rate is also important. so okay can we proceed yes sir yes sir so if you have any question we can discuss or we can go as, as you wish i have a lot of slides a lot of information how we how we can reduce the radiant heat in our homes okay 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 very good question now we come back to the mud house okay there is one thing is called thermal mass you know what is happening uh, from where do you belong and in what type of house do you live can you tell me please the concrete made house uh, lives in lavar ah Lava. that's why that's why now i tell you brother actually what is happening the material used in the house construction is very much important you know the every material has a kind of thermal conductivity and we know the thermal conductivity was the thermal conductivity that the temperature transferred from one surface to another surface am i clear yes sir yes sir yes sir are high in thermal conductor and some are insulators yes sir so if we have a thermal mass if we have a thick wall now i come back to our previous discussion why do we feel better during summer in a haveli in a old temple in a historical building or in a mud house because yes, of this radiant heat is very less why because the thick wall you know sometime the wall is of 1 meter you might have seen Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of a haveli, of a palace, the two meter yes, thick sir. wall. Yes, sir. So what this wall is doing basically, and it is constructed with the stone, with mud, or with other material which are thermal yes, insulated. And also the height of the building. Height True. of the building. Up to certain extent, but most important is the thermal mass. Now I will clarify this. This also. Okay, let me let me finish for thermal mass. So what happens, brother? You know the the when 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 the sun rays heats up heat up the external surface of a wall. If the thermal conductivity of material is very high, like in case of concrete or the thin brick wall, then it is easily transferred to the room. Am I right or not? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. But in case of a mud thick wall, or in case of a thick wall, it doesn't transfer inside the building, so the radiant temperature is low. Yes, sir. It means where you are living in Allahabad in a concrete house, the walls and the roof, what it is doing, it is basically easily transferring the external heat to your rooms. that's why the room temperature is very high now i come to the another question by another person what will be the effect of the height now effect of the height will be in two ways as in case the temperature or the heat transmit into the into the room obviously the room will be larger it will take more time to heat up the room one thing am i clear to you the person who has asked me this question yes sir yes sir yes sir okay. it can reduce radiation density also sir ah yes now second thing second thing if it is a place where the pupil gathers like 
the uh, 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 gathering is taking place and the height is necessary why because obviously the more people will generate more heat so it is necessary that the heat should go up and there should be a proper height of that place which can accommodate that temperature am i clear yes sir yes sir yes sir. fine sir in this regard i want to ask you a question sir can i proceed please, please sir please please sir actually uh, where i live in my house beside there uh, there is a uh, kachar you know uh, it's a kind of ancient building and most of the time uh, it's it's in a dilapidated condition and and i find that uh, most of the time the walls are made of lime and a kind of molasses and uh, and and the bricks and the, the the dust of bricks so what is the rationale behind that yes obviously actually if if you see uh, le let me ask you one question what was the primary objective of a shelter okay let me answer myself to protect yourself from weathering inclemencies to protect yourself from from rain from heat and from you know the 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 climatic uh, inclemencies so the the material they have used is a high insulator of heat that's why the heat doesn't transmit to inside the building and it works in both ways how like because of low thermal conductivity during summer it doesn't allow trans transmit the external heat to interior okay but during winter it doesn't allow to transmit internal heat to outside am i clear to you yes sir yes sir because the because the heat transfer from the high temperature to the low temperature and during winter the internal temperature is high the external temperature is low so it will try to move from inside to outside but the the, the thick wall of this uh, these uh, buildings don't allow to transmit the heat from inside to outside so they work both ways that's why in during winters even the concrete buildings even the building with the glass and the metals they are too cold in winters too and too hot during summers okay is this clear yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay yeah. yes sir yes so uh, okay now can we come to the presentation or any other question our, our aim is yes, to clarify mm -hmm. more and more rather than uh, to throw the uh, all these no slides are, please okay 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 so uh, obviously the benefit of thermal comfort is that it improves the health it improves your productivity in offices in that your workplaces obviously it improves your satisfaction level with the with the with the, with the thermal condition around you and to uh, it is too energy it is also energy efficient optimize heating and cooling by natural resources okay so issues what are the issues there may be overheating that if the temperature inside the building is too high then you may feel summer there may be heat stroke there may be a, uh, maybe uh, uh, health health uh, effects and maybe the overcooling during the winters maybe the drafts means the air movement may be uncomfortable and very high during monsoon and there may be the places where the temperature of one room or the one area is very high and the other area is very low radiative asymmetry too so that also uh, hazard our health now i may move to the indoor air quality so within the building 
it's uh, very necessary and uh, there are the dust there are pollens there's smoke the particles are there and there are germs there are viruses there are volatile organic compound they just melt or they just convert into gas very easily like you might have seen when the person is painting or you do the the termite treatment in your eyes so these gases are created the carbon monoxide the other gases the benzene and other gases may be there so that is also important and obviously now the answer of this as the earlier person asked me the moisture excess humidity of water vapors they are the houses for the microorganism for the bacteria viruses and fungi so it is very necessary that the moisture should not be in your house or at your workplace that is going to affect your health that will create or develop the bacteria viruses and other pollutants in the air so the way out we have already discussed that there should be a cross ventilation the air should enter from one side the fall gases should move to the other side and there should be a proper air exchange rate the always most of the time there should be air exchange okay and obviously if you are using the filters that is necessary the jali or something so that the at some level the 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 pollens or the dust can be stop outside the building to enter into the building and the problems mostly due to the air quality are lung problem they may be asthma the allergies the breathing issues may be there headache may be there the fatigue there so it is sometimes due to the indoor air quality and obviously it has become more important in case after covid 19 because the germs they move from one person to the another person and they are basically helps to move from one to another so it has become important the indoor air quality during the covid and after covid also for any kind of epidemic so air quality strategies obviously ventilation should be there the filters should be there the pollutant sources okay that's why the outdoor air pollution it becomes also important if there is a source outside the building which is polluting the air should be reduced should be stopped that is also important because the same air is coming to your house or to the building and regularly you must monitor the indoor air quality okay so lighting is very much important as we have already said natural light or artificial light the task light and the proper light should be there when you are writing or you are doing particular job working from one place to another place or you are working in the kitchen or any other place or doing any hectic work like writing or something so there should be a proper light if the proper light should not be there you have said that there should be a balance between the natural light and, pro uh, and artificial light uh, yes nowadays we are using uh, artificial light in the form of yellow light and white light what uh, what will be the uh, beneficial for us either white or uh, yellow our oh, that depends actually uh, the task you are doing uh, for what purpose it is required actually so yellow light may be for the specific purpose but white light is better for the clear uh, task i mean uh, for for a job so basically primarily we must dependent on the natural light during day time and for the night for and for uh, the uh, specific task we must go for the uh, white light okay so one more thing with here a circadian rhythm is your clock, uh, body clock obviously if there will be no window there will no source of light natural light in your building then what will happen that you will you will not come to know that when there is a night or when there is a day so the this, this circadian rhythm will be disturbed and it boost your uh, boost your mood or disturb your mood so it is very essential that there should be a natural light inside the building too 
for your psychological health. Okay, so these are the factors and then there should be a layered light means combination of natural light and artificial light. Okay, whatever is uh, required uh, should be assisted or should be uh, added by the uh, artificial light and uh, there should be dimmers so that you can uh, like like you use uh, the regulator for the fan and you must use the regulator for the lights also the what level of light is required that is called those, those equipments are called, called dimmer is a volume type equipment so you can increase the uh, light uh, level you can decrease the light le light level for the uh, energy efficiency you can have occupancy sensors because once you open the light, it remains open for hours. So to save the electricity, we can use the occupancy sensor. When somebody enters the light, or oh, light, light, uh, light switch on, then lights on, and then uh, when you leave the room, it automatically off. So these kind of uh, equipments has already in the market. Has already in the market, we can go for there. There. So the most important thing, I mean, the kind of uh, health hazard due to the lighting is the eye strain. So uh, to reduce the eye strain, it is very much important that the visual comfort should get improved. And uh, for the accuracy, for the circadian rhythm and energy efficiency. Acoustics is also important. Obviously, there is sound level and we have already discussed. And the most important when there is a kind of... Uh, uh, home theater or there is a uh, theater there is a conference room it becomes more important there should not be no echo there should be no reverberation so that you can uh, 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 clearly uh, listen uh, what uh, the source and uh, uh, there should be a proper control of the noise created within the building and outside the building as i told you the transportation due to the the the, the somebody is uh, calling or conversing outside the building or somebody moving in the corridor or to the next classroom or the next room so these should be controlled so noise distraction background noise conversations they all get disturb you they basically disturb your focus so we must get care about all these things. So there should be no reverberation, no echo, no sound from the other room. If somebody watching television in the in the drawing room and you are sleeping in the bedroom, so there should be a provision that the sound could should not get across from your from the drawing room to the bedroom. There should be a sound there should not be a sound leak. So it will increase your productivity, obviously. It will sometime by changing all this 20% uh, productivity, 30% productivity was, was improved. So there are health issues. So now we can have questions because we have only 10 minutes. So now till it is 12, uh, 5 already. But still I have many slides. So this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, somebody asked why. Sir, I have a question, I... sir. Okay, okay. Yeah, sir, please. I have a yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, I am so much like, of this. Stop sharing this. Uh... Narangar Government College. Uh, okay. Sir, uh, can you please provide a list of uh, plants which uh, reduce our uh, noise pollution and other things in our home? Uh, okay, I can help you if you just send me your uh, plan. And the surrounding area so that i could help you i could help you what material because because it is it depends upon what type of plan is what is in the surrounding and what material mm. can be uh, placed there uh, where so i can suggest something uh, sure okay sir i i live in something on west bengal uh, the uh. place of gurudev Rabindranath tagore okay and there are so much uh, plants there uh, big trees and like astronomic purivis uh, uh, then um, it will be better uh, if my home is uh, surrounded by some plants. 
like uh, yes, which is adjusted in your yeah. yeah. because the the landscape around the building doesn't have only to beautify they have function too like like i told you if you have a dense wall of trees in between the road the noisy road and your house or the windows you can improve the noise condition in your building okay okay sir one request sir this is milon mondo yeah, one request sir yes please Sir, would you please share the PPTs with us? Uh, that would be sure, very they, nice. They, they will send you. They will send you the this thing. You know the video, and I will share uh, uh, separately. No problem. But the but the the center will send you the 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 video and uh, and PPT through your mail. No, sir. Till now, till now, we have not got uh, PPTs. All of PPTs. And one question. Sorry. Sir, one more yes, question. Yes, please. Dr. Nisha, uh, very good session, sir, yes. informative and effective session. Sir, I know that, but as we know, in today's time, the pollution is very big. And we say that people should be aware of it. Like, sir, you have talked about the indoor environment. So, if our indoor environment is not airy or sunlight, then it is suffocation. But, People are prefer apartment whole completely packed. So what I need? हमारी क्या हो सकता है कि हम इन चीजों को prefer कर रहे हैं pollution के लिए फिर भी हम ऐसे environment में रह रहे हैं जहाँ suffocation है light natural light नहीं आ रही है तो sir ऐसी situation में हम आपसे suggestion लेना चाहेंगे क्या करना चाहिए जबकि people prefer apartment Yes, they pay fair just because of other reasons. You know what happened? Agar main thoda past mein jaun, to what happened when we changed our lifestyle from harmonious to nature to urban uh, settlement? Hua kya hai ke humne jab industries aayi, machines aayi, aur hamare jobs opportunities badi, to ham sab ke sab shehro ki taraf bhage. तो शहर ओवर पॉपुलेटेड हो गए जब शहर ओवर पॉपुलेटेड हो गए और वहां जगह तंग थी तो हॉरिजॉन्टली हम जा नहीं सकते थे जैसे हम गांव में पेड़ों के साथ बनाते थे नेचुरल एयर लेते थे तो वी शुड हैव डाउन टू वर्टिकल तो गवर्नमेंट की और या लोगों की मजबूरी ये थी कि वर्टिकल जाए दूसरा ये है कि शहर में फिर बढ़ गए पैसे वो जमीन तो वहां आप बीगो में ले लेते थे गांव में जब रहते थे तो बहुत कम पैसे में यहाँ बहुत कम पैसे बहुत ज्यादा पैसे में आप बहुत छोटा प्लान बना पाते हैं बहुत छोटा अपार्टमेंट बना पाते हैं तो यूं कहें कि ये हमारी लाइफ स्टाइल का चेंज है हमने दरअसल अपने आप को जब हमने अपने लाइफ स्टाइल को चेंज किया अपनी जरूरतों को चेंज किया तो हमारा घर खुद ब खुद चेंज हो जाना था इसके उसका हमारे पास ऑप्शन नहीं जिम्मेदारी थी गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर की डिजाइनर्स की आर्किटेक्ट्स की कि आपको उन अपार्टमेंट्स में भी वो वो एयर क्वालिटी वो लाइट क्वालिटी देते जो नहीं दे पाए क्योंकि उस पर कंट्रोल नहीं हो पाए उस पर कंट्रोल इसलिए नहीं होता गवर्नमेंट ने रूल्स बनाए बायलॉज बनाए तो वो बायलॉज बनाने के बावजूद भी लोगों ने अब आप बायलॉ कहता है कि आपको टेन परसेंट वेंटिलेशन देना है उन्होंने उनके पास वेंटिलेशन की जगह ही नहीं उन्होंने तो प्रॉपर्टी लाइन पर आपका कमरा बना रखा है तो आपका कमरा तो बंद हो गया उसमें तो लाइट आ नहीं रही है सो जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ सो मेनी लीगल कंस्ट्रक्शन बिकॉज ऑफ योर नीड्स बिकॉज ऑफ स्कॉस्टी ऑफ मनी ये सारी चीजें ना वो गड़बड़ हो गई और वो सब मिलके स्लम बन गया आज हम जितने खूबसूरत अपार्टमेंट कह रहे हैं वो भी स्लम ही है इफ दे वी डोंट हैव प्रॉपर लाइट वी डोंट हैव प्रॉपर वेंटिलेटर एग्री तो अब कहीं पीछे जाना पड़ेगा मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग अभी जिस टॉपिक को भी हमने डिस्कस किया इंडोर क्वालिटी इन्वायरमेंट तो सर ये कैसे आएगा फिर अगर हम इस तरह के एटमोसफियर में रहेंगे तो फिर ये आएगा कैसे देखिए एक्चुअली क्या है कि एक तो है इसके लीगल एस्पेक्ट लीगल एस्पेक्ट ये है कि इन सारी चीजों को लीगली फोर्सफुल्ली बाइलॉज का पार्ट होना चाहिए कि इतनी लाइट एक कमरे में देना जरूरी है इतना वेंटिलेशन जरूरी है इतना एरिया छोड़ना जरूरी है 
तो वो बाइलॉज हमारे उसमें आए अब क्या है कि वो बाइलॉज इस टर्म में तो है कि आपको इतने हिस्से में इतना बनाना है लेकिन वो एयर क्वालिटी की बात नहीं करते वो आपके लाइट की बात नहीं करते हैं वो आपके जो है वो नॉइज की बात नहीं करते हैं तो क्या होगा ना किसी किसी ना क्योंकि हम लोग वैसे नहीं है कि हम आसानी से मान जाएंगे हमको थोड़ा सा लीगल फोर्स जब तक नहीं लेगा हमारे खिलाफ एक्शन नहीं होगा तब तक हम उन चीजों पे नहीं है एक तो ये एक्सपेक्ट है दूसरा एस्पेक्ट ये है कि हम खुद भी तो अवेयर हो इस बारे में भाई हमें खुद भी जैसे मैं अपना घर बना रहा हूँ तो मैंने क्या किया मुझे मुझे एक साफ क्या मैं गया कहने लगे मैंने कोई खिड़की नहीं दी है तो मैंने कहा आपने खिड़की क्यों नहीं दी है भाई अगर हैव नॉट यू प्रोवाइडेड द विंडो दिस इज बिकॉज़ द रूम द एवरी रूम विल बी एयर कंडीशन सो नो नीड फॉर विंडो इवन वी आर नॉट अवेयर के व्हाट इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ शायद हमारे क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ के मेजर चेंज हो गए हैं पैरामीटर चेंज हो गए हैं इसलिए हम उसको समझ रहे हैं कि ये ऐसा है तो हम उसी में खुश हैं तो अब मेरा तो कहना ये है कि अनटिल एंड अनलेस वी आर नॉट नियर टू द नेचर वी कैन नॉट प्रोसीड और वो अपना घूम फिर गए बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू 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 सर वेलकम थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर अटेंशन थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू
ఫ్రీజర్ లో సెంటర్ Gracias. Uh -huh. 